When I watched Past Lives, I just sobbed and cried. I had such an emotional reaction to it. Is that what most people tell you when they say they watch the film, or how do they say that they reacted to it? Not most people. I think all the people. Um, yeah, it's just so wonderful to have teenagers as well as uh, couples that have been together for over 30 years come to us and talk about how um, how that film about love has affected them. So I'm just glad that it tells this universal story bridging gaps over cultures and ages. When Greta was on our Actress Roundtable, she said that her mom had a really emotional reaction to the film. Is there someone in your life that had an emotional reaction to the film when they watched it? Uh, yes, my dad. Yeah, my, my parents, but my dad, um, he's at that age where he gets very sentimental and emotional. We saw it together in, in Berlin at the festival. And um, yeah, what that mean, what that film meant to him personally, but also, you know, I think he was... A, Partially crying for himself, partially crying for his son. Uh, yeah, so that was a very happy moment. It's been a long award season, and here we are now at the Oscars. What's been the highlight of your award season journey with Past Lives? The highlight of the award season journey? I'd say um, the experience and just being so grateful that as a kind of international actor, because I'm from Europe, but my basis in South Korea and breaking into the American market and getting introduced to American audiences with such a beautiful film, it's just a career trajectory that every actor can just dream of. So for that, I'm really, really grateful. Yeah. Who's one new friend you made this award season? Somebody you met along the awards trail and became friends with? Well, Jeffrey Wright and I have been texting back and forth. Yeah, he's a... He's kind of an acting role model of mine ever since um, Basquiat and uh, Angels of America. I watched it all in my, in my student. I'm a student of his work and I was so happy for him to win so many awards. And um, we'll see what's going to happen. And what are you going to do tomorrow after this is all over and you can finally take a break? I'm flying back to uh, Vancouver because I'm working on the show at the moment. And um, yeah, so I have, I'm partially here and partially in my, in my scene work with the script. So you're right back to work. I love it. Can you tell us a little bit about the project you're working on right now? Yeah, it's called The Recruit. It's uh, season two um, with our lead actor, the, the incredible, sexy Noah Centineo. And um, yeah, it's uh, a little bit around the Korean theme. So I play like a uh, NIS agent out of Korea. And yeah, it's fun, action, spy. Yeah. What's it been like working with Noah so far? Oh, it's been a learning experience. Noah is a is such a natural leader. He's also the EP on the show. Um, yeah, I'm just watching him and I'm I'm flabbergasted. He's gonna he's gonna be huge. I mean, he's already huge, but he's gonna be he's gonna blow up in the future, man. I love it. You know, I'm I'm so happy for him.